Alright guys, what's going on and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Blaze Black to Egglock. Hopefully you guys are having yourselves a great day today, and if you do want to go ahead and support the video, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like down below. Of course, our support is very much appreciated on these series, and since it's kind of coming to a close, we have a couple more episodes left. All that support does mean a lot. I almost said all that episode means a lot, and... That doesn't really make any sense, but either way, last episode, uh, we took on the 8th gym leader, Mar- uh, I almost said Martin, hello, Marlin, then we took on Terrakion, which was pretty crazy, and then we went south down here to the Seaside Cave, dealt with Team Plasma on their boat, and now we have to go deal with them on their boat again. We also had some unfortunate casualties, but we will get into that in a second. I, I was the pink frillish last time, I'll be the blue one this time. So, let's go ahead and do a quick party update. So. Uh, we actually added Felicia to the team, who is a Weavile, and this thing is absolutely amazing. She, she's a great Pokemon. She, she's a great Weavile. So she's got Ice Punch, Ice Go Crash, Crunch, and X Scissor holding that Expert Belt. Um, I decided, I think it had Ice Shard instead. I was like, well, we're probably going to outspeed everything anyways. And if I give him X Scissor, I can just slap an Expert Belt on, and boom, that's how we go. The only reason I have Ice Punch and Ice Go Crash is because this, you know, does have more power. But it's also 90 base power, so if we get a better move, Ice School, uh, Ice School Crash will probably be dropped. You know, I'm so stupid. It has Technician. Ice Shard would have been great. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. We'll see if we can get a Heart Scale and give it back to him. But that's fine. So, now we have Breloom, aka One-Up, who's actually really close to leveling up. Goddamn. With Spore, Drain Punch, Leech Seed, and Seed Bomb. Then we have Wang, the Marowak, with Strength, Iron Head, Double Kick, and Earthquake. Draco, with the Charizard, with Dragon Pulse, Flamethrower, Earthquake, and Fly. I'm Not White, the Jolteon. The new Jolteon on the team with Discharge, uh, Shadow Ball, Thunder Wave, and Volt Switch. This thing is actually pretty good utility-wise, because Thunder Wave and Volt Switch is going to be very, very helpful. A couple of you guys did point out last episode that I'm Not White is an Adamant Nature, which is okay. I know it minus a special attack, but in this situation, it, it should be okay. We also have the Life Orb, so I think we'll be fine there. And Dawn the Empoleon with Hydro Pump, Drill Peck, Flash Cannon, and Surf. So that is the uh, that is the deal. I'm probably just gonna end up calling Jolteon White instead of I'm not white just for the sake of like saying white. So I'll just be like, all right, so white the Jolteon, which you get what I mean. So we'll, we'll keep Felicia out for a little bit. Uh, but what we actually have to do is go into the Frost Cavern, I do believe. I think it's called the Frost Cavern, whatever this cave is. And then maybe once you get into the cave and go like into the actual thing, that's the Frost Cavern. I don't know what we're doing today. At some point, I need to go take on Winona and these guys. I. I just really don't want to. Uh, I would take on Tate and Lisa right now, but I want to take them on in order just for the sake of taking them on in order, if that makes any sense. But, you know, I don't feel like going to do Winona right now, but we'll definitely handle that before we head to the Elite Four and stuff like that. I think we actually have to go back to Opelousid City before we go to the Elite Four anyways, so we should be good to just do it then. If we do remember, I think, we, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be just fine. Is that Shaking Grass? I hate when that happens, when you're walking and the shaking grass just appears in front of you. It's like, come on, if I really want an encounter, I would not have sprayed the repel, but I guess they just want me to run. This Audino just really wanted me to get some EXP off of it. Just really, really wanted me to do that, and then it uses after you. You're so considerate. You're so condiserate. <laughs> condiserate. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Someone actually... Uh, so, in my writing class, what we have to do is... um. So one of our well, part of the assignment is like every person writes a three page essay and then they bring it into the class and then we all do like a review on or we all write a review that night and then we discuss it in class or discuss the essay in class, give them constructive criticism, some negative feedback, some positive feedback, and then they do their essay again with all of our uh, feedback and consideration and consideration, I guess, and then they, you know, revise it and then they turn it back into the teacher and that's the process. It's pretty cool. I don't know. It's a kind of a unique way of doing it. So I'm definitely in favor for it. As annoying as it is to write a bunch of essays, but that's that, you know, that's striving away from my point, which was about the word or using it as condiserate. And someone in class was was talking about the essay and said condiserate or not very condiserate of commas or something. And then everyone was like, what? Like, what are you talking about? Um, <laughs> but uh, actually, I want, I want to talk about something. So, for yeah, see, there's Ice Beam. See, I knew that was Ice Beam. For my essay, which I actually had to write last night, which is crazy. So, my review day is sometime next week. So, I'll let you guys know how that went, um, if I do remember. But, um, obviously, I'm not worried about it, because it's not like they're... I get a grade on the discussion. It's anything. It's just, I get a grade on the final essay. But, basically, I uh, it took me a while to write about, or figure out what I wanted to write about. 
Um, everyone wanted me to write about YouTube because people know I do YouTube and stuff like that. And it, it you know, I, I admit that that was a really good topic, but I just didn't know what to write about on YouTube. Like there's just, there was way too, like, what do I, I just didn't know what to write about YouTube. If I were to write about YouTube as a whole and my experience on here, that essay could be 15, like freaking 15 pages long. So I definitely didn't want that. And if I just wrote about one thing, uh, one thing someone recommended was how I deal with criticism. Uh, cause like it or not, I deal with. A lot of criticism, especially because I upload top fives, which are my opinion. People definitely don't appreciate that it's in my opinion, even though it is sometimes. And you have to deal with criticism. And if I did only that, I feel like the essay would only be like a page and a half long. And that's not going to slide. That's, de that's definitely not going to slide. So uh, what I ended up writing about was Thanksgiving of 2007. Um, a, a mysterious thing happened. A mysterious thing happened. Uh, my family's getting ready to eat and I was in the bathroom. And, you know, I was just doing my business before... Oh, this is a bad idea. I need to switch out. Freaking Metagross, dude. What the fudge? Alright, uh, I want to use Wang here. I want to see how Wang handles this. I think he should be good. Uh, but basically, um... Apparently, I obviously wasn't here. So I'm going to tell it as if I was... Because uh, I was in the bathroom. So, essentially, they hear a knock at the door. My family hears a knock at the door. And... Oh, shit. This is really bad. This is really bad. So they hear a knock at the door, and they open the door. My sister answers the door. She's four at the time. She's four. And, you know, obviously, the the freaking, uh, the table is literally right next to the, the door. So that's kind of how, like, my grandma's house is uh, planned out. That's just how it works. So it's not like we were just sending her to go open the door for someone. Yeah, that'd be kind of weird. <laughs> but we, So they, they she opened the door, and it's two policemen. And everyone's like, why are policemen here? Like, that's the weirdest thing. Oh, fuck. Shit, are you serious, dude? I mean, what else was I gonna do? Like, what else was I gonna do? Damn, that really sucks. Why does the Team Plasma Grunt have a Metagross, by the way? They went from having like Zubats and Cryogonals to a freaking Metagross. I don't know how that happened. I, don't, I, I must have blinked for too long and then boom. Um, but what happened next in the story is um, they tell us that someone called 911. And everyone's like, who called 911? Um, so, you know what? Everyone kind of suspected it was either my cousin or I. Um, because we kind of, you know, we caused trouble. We, you know, we have our little, you know, slip ups here and there. We were obviously we were also really young at the time. We were like seven. Like, I'll tell you right now, like we, we ran on, uh, we went on my cousin's roof. And that was really bad. We got yelled at. And then we tried to hang from his bathroom ceiling with plungers. Not saying it was a good idea. Not saying it was the optimal play. But it definitely happened. It definitely did happen. So those are just some of the events that went down that just kind of, you know, and they kind of display the the actual intent or the, you know, intentions we have. We like to get in trouble. We like to do things that, you know, obviously they weren't too crazy. But you still, you get what I'm trying to say. We got in trouble. We were troublemakers. We're doing what seven-year-olds are supposed to do, okay? So that's the dealio. So they had a clear suspicion that it was us. And it actually wasn't. It wasn't me. Um, but, you know, everyone kind of suspected it was me or him. And you know what? I don't really blame them. Uh, but what happened then is that, so they pulled me out. My daddy was like, uh, you know, come out of the bathroom. There's an officer here who likes to speak to you. And I'm like, okay, that's the weirdest thing I've ever heard all day. So I'm freaking out. So officer gets there and he's in the middle of like lecturing my family, um, about how it's bad to call 911 if there's not an emergency. So that's going on, and I get there, and boom, he, finished, uh, he finishes his speech or whatever, and then he leaves. And that's how that went. That's how that went. And he's gone, boom, that's it. So then everyone starts talking throughout the whole freaking dinner. Everyone's just talking about how, you know, someone called 911, who was it, and I was getting blamed a lot. So over the course of a couple years, um, it, apparently some rumor got spread around that it came from the phone in the bathroom, which I don't even know how that could be. I don't know how that happens. Like, how can you, I don't know if you can track which phone it was called from. It was from a home phone. I don't know which phone you can track, but somehow that theory got spread around the family. And since I was the one in the bathroom at the time, everyone suspected it was me. Everyone thought I was the one and obviously it wasn't me. So I was like, Damn, this is really annoying actually. So that's happening. That's happening, right? And so everyone thinks it's me, and for years, and years, and years, 
all I hear at every single Thanksgiving is so, hey Charlie, when are you gonna call 911 again? Every single year. So if that's not frustrating, I, I actually don't know what is. That's, it was, it was the worst thing in the world. I think I'm gonna spore here actually. I'm gonna spore that muck. So that's that. And not until last year did my, my cousin, uh, she's a female. She was, she's older than my other, co the cousin that, uh, that we got. Please don't die. Please, please. I really need. This is not going well in any shape or form. In any way, shape, or form. Ugh. Okay, okay. We're gonna take deep, deep breath. It's fine. So, she could finally confess to it. Okay, she confessed to you know calling nine one one, and that that was probably the happiest day of my life. I just telling everyone in my family I love uh, I love you. <laughs> I told you so was absolutely amazing. It felt so great. So everyone thought it was me, and I'm like, it wasn't me. It was the least expecting culprit in the freaking world. So that's how that went. And um, you know, it, you know, she only admitted to it about like eight years late, but you know what? It's it's okay. Better late than never, I guess. And uh, so now, I mean, she's in college now, so when it does come to Thanksgiving, she's either not there, so she's too busy, or like, you, you know what, she just basically doesn't hear the jokes, and it's it's terrible, because I really wish that maybe she got a little, a little bit of backlash for it, considering I took literally all the heat, but you know what, it's okay, and that's what I wrote my essay on, and I hope everyone thinks it's pretty good, I hope everyone thinks it's pretty good, because that means less revisions to make, and that means less homework. <laughs> that is my logic there. I do not care about anything else other than that. Hey, because that means more time to play Skyrim. <laughs> oh my god, I talk about Skyrim a lot. Just considering, like, I never really play video games that, like, I don't really play RPG video games, I should say. Like, obviously I play Pokemon, but I've talked about how we don't really play Pokemon too much outside of recording just because... I don't know, either I'm too busy or just I don't really want to. I, there was a period where I did play through, like, two Pokemon games at once over the summer, and that was really fun. Oh, so that happened, uh, but you know what? It, you know, and I've just been playing Skyrim recently, and I love it. And you know, I loaded it up, and I started playing it a little bit the other day, and I was like, you know what? I I do understand. I totally understand why this game literally consumed like two years of my life. Like that that was my thought process there, and it, it, that game is so freaking good. If you haven't played Skyrim, I definitely recommend it. I don't think you'll be able to play through all of it before Sun and Moon, so maybe wait for it after you finish Sun and Moon, because you're definitely not gonna want to like if you if you stop playing Skyrim, you're not gonna want to play it anymore. Pretty much, um, you just gotta you gotta keep playing, and, and then you'll get addicted, and then you know you'll keep playing, and then you'll finally start to really appreciate. It. But, I don't know if you want you know if you got some downtime, go ahead and buy it, and you're definitely gonna have a great experience with that game. I can definitely say it. actually I, I cannot definitely say that because if you don't like it, I think that's technically my fault, and I'm not gonna like like I'm not paying for your freaking game just because you didn't like it. Screw off. That's your fault. It's your fault that you didn't like a perfect game. <laughs> that was definitely not a perfect game. But anyways, I'll stop talking about Skyrim because it's very selective. Not that many people obviously play Skyrim, so I might as well talk about something that everyone likes, such as Pokemon. Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. I honestly can't wait for Sun and Moon. Uh, I think this episode's going up on Sunday. It should be going up on Sunday. Uh, so that means that... Um, what's it called? That means that uh, it's about five days away. Um, I think, right? Because... Yeah, it's five days away, because it comes out on Friday, boom. That's an, it's freaking unreal. I'm so excited. I know a lot of people already have this game. Um, I was in the process of downgrading my 3DS, and I just can't seem to do it. Like, I'm so freaking close. Um, so if I downgraded my 3DS to a different firmware, I'd be able to get the game early, and I'd be able to stock up on episodes before the Friday. And uh, honestly, like, that's not even the huge thing. I, I just want to play the games. Like, I really do. I got it working on the emulator. Uh, for the 3DS, and I, you know, I was playing a little bit of Moon, and I, I there's an, I got to like the opening cutscene where like you're talking to the professor and stuff, and obviously that's not really a spoiler because that's how it is in every single freaking game. Like if you think that's a spoiler, I don't really know what's wrong with you, um, but, and it just didn't feel the same. It really didn't feel the same. It felt so forced. I was like, I, the music just doesn't sound as good as it normally does sound, and I just, I, I couldn't do it. Uh, so I stopped playing and I'm waiting now. I'm waiting patiently for the day to come and when that day finally does come I think I will be the Happiest man in the world actually definitely won't be the happiest man But I'll definitely be up there because I'll have my hands on Pokemon Sun and Moon And pretty much anyone that has their hands on Pokemon Sun and Moon is just you're doing something right. You're doing something right. So 
<sighs> I'm definitely getting them both, but I've, I've decided I'm going to be playing Moon on the channel. Don't know why I decided to make that decision, but you know what? It's okay. So I think what we have to do now is just battle all of these Team Plasma Grunts, which I really don't like considering those other ones had a freaking Metagross. So I'm really hoping that not these guys aren't going to have anything crazy. I do really like the fact that we do have Volt Switch on I'm Not White. So if we do lead off with him, uh, or her I should say, it's just, we just go for Volt Switch. And since he's pretty much faster than everything, boom, we just go out and then we just destroy anything now with Draco or something. Crocodile, uh... I have to go to Felicia. As much as I don't want to go to Felicia, considering could have Rock Slide or something, I'm just going to do it anyways. Ooh, I don't like that. I'm going to go for Icicle Crash. Oh no, come on, please. 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 Thank you. Okay, that's really bad, though. I don't exactly know what to do. I'm going to go to Wang? Maybe. I mean, Wang is decently defensive, you know. He's got he's got some bulk to him. He's got some bulk. Maybe we can hit him up with a... Alright, so let's see how much this would do. I, I gotta think to myself. I gotta think to myself. So, if we have Wang here, right? And he's got double kick. It's 30 power and it kicks twice, so that's gonna be 60 power. Doubled 120. That's 150, right? Because stab makes it 1.5, right? I think Earthquake might just be the better option here. I don't know what we'll go for. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I think we should be good no matter what, considering he didn't attack, he didn't attack me that turn, and he's just going to die anyway. So it doesn't, it doesn't even matter. All right. Cool. We beat that Team Plasma Grunt. Not bad. I think I should go face the Doctor down there, right? I mean, I'll, pro I'll probably face him before we go and move on. I just got to get both these passwords first. I'm not really sure exactly how to do it. I think you just battle everyone, and then eventually they're just like... Uh, Oh yeah, this password? You wanted this password? Uh, I thought you wanted that pass- And then just give you the freaking password. I don't know how this puzzle works. I don't do this. I don't, I don't do this for a job. I don't do this for a living. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm probably just staying and discharge this thing. Should die. I really want to get Thunderbolt, but unfortunately Jolteon does not want Thunderbolt by level up. We do get Thunder, and I think I actually taught Thunder to Jolteon at some point during his leveling up process. But I just decided to take uh, take it off because Discharge, 100% accuracy, uh, chance to paralyze, and then I was like, I really need Volt Switch on him, and then Thunder Wave's just really, really nice. So I decided to roll with that. And that's my logic there on why we don't have Thunder, but you know what? I don't know. I guess if we really need Thunder, we could go for it. We just slap it on him if we want to take the chance. And then we do have a Wide Lens, which does increase our accuracy. So if need be, we could take the risk, or take a slightly lesser risk of hitting a Thunder, and you never know, you never know, it might just it might just pay off. But I'm in the process of figuring out how to do this freaking puzzle right now. Let's see if I can figure it out, let's see if I can figure it out. First I want to heal up, because this is not... No bueno, I'm not trying to have low health. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm actually starting to feel a little sick. Uh, it, has, it didn't just start like in this recording, but I'm just... I don't know man, I'm starting to feel a little ill. I have like a... Uh, kind of like a, no, like a nose thing, I don't know, it's kind of stuffy. And you know, like, I, I've got a little bit of a headache, but you know, I'm chilling. I'm just chilling. I'm having a good time recording this episode. It's actually going very smooth, so you know what? I can't be happy. Unfortunately, we have had some casualties, but at this point in the game, it's, you know what? You guys should just get used to a Pokemon dying every single episode at this point. It honestly doesn't have that much to do with if I'm a good player or not. Like, you saw that Metagross got the plus one on the attack. What else was I going to do? I didn't know if he had Rock Slide or not. He could have destroyed my Charizard if I went out there. You really could have. I also didn't know he's going to use Psychic on switching, so it probably wouldn't have killed my Char- It actually definitely wouldn't have killed my Charizard if I swapped it on the Psychic. Uh, but obviously, how was I supposed to know I was going to go for Psychic? After it just got an attack boost, why would you go for Psychic? It just doesn't make any sense. And none of these dudes are having the freaking password. Just give me the password, bro. Just give it to me. I'm greedy. I need that password. I need that password, bro. Let's go for this Volt Switch. Let's go for it. And oh, I really was hoping if I get scooped with that kill there, that would have been crazy. That would have been crazy. Crazy talk. Alright. Uh ch -ch -ch. I mean I gotta go for strength. I don't really think an earthquake's necessary. I actually don't know if strength's gonna kill. It does okay. I need to stop underestimating Wang, especially because we have a thick club on him. So he's gonna be doing a lot of damage. Oh, okay, white dr oh it's Rush Ram. I totally knew the password was Rush Ram. I definitely knew that. I, I definitely knew that. I don't know how I didn't. 
I think one time I tried putting in Restram and it didn't work, but I probably was spelling it wrong. I'm a freaking oxymoron. I know that's not the definition of the word, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right, let's see if I can get this. All right, so we got to put in a password here. Yes, I will enter a password. I'm just going to do it with clicking because it's faster. Resh Ram. See, I wonder if I need to do, if I need to get the plasma card as well as the, oh shit, come on, please don't have a battle right now. I really didn't mean to start this cutscene now. Please don't battle me. Actually, I think we might have full health, so it's not the biggest deal in the world, but I really meant to go back to that doctor. And he's got six Pokemon. If we lose right here, I'm gonna be so upset. All right, well, here it goes, guys. Here it goes. Volt switch. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna switch right onto Draco. And my plan is to literally flamethrower everything. If we don't get fro- If we get frozen right here, I'm dropping my controller. Thank you. All right, we're going for flamethrower. And here it goes. Here it starts. It starts right here. All right, um, what are you gonna have? A Mamo Swine. Okay, guess our plan is not, not gonna happen. Actually, I might just have to. The only way I can beat this Mamo Swine right now is if I just go for Flamethrower immediately. Now, here's my logic here. I switch out right now. Um, I literally can't kill him with anything else. Marowak, He's just gonna get a Blizzard, Ice Beam, or it's probably just gonna get Ice School Crash, so it's, that just makes more sense. Um, let's see, Jolteon, obviously can't touch it. I mean, if I can Shadow Ball, it, boom, doesn't matter. It's not gonna do anything, or it's gonna get Earthquake. Uh, Weavile, neutral damage, neutral damage, eh, I don't know, okay, whatever. If this thing does have Thick Fat, I think we're screwed. Uh, we are Life Orb, Flamethrower, should do some decent damage. Might scoop up the kill. If he doesn't have Thick Fat, I think it will scoop up the kill. But we have to see, we have to see. It could be, he, if he's focused Sash, I'm going to kill myself because that's going to be very disappointing. But I think we just lost Draco. <sighs> yep. Of freaking course we did. Alright, how am I going to deal with this thing? I have to go for a Shadow Ball. I think we will be faster, so it's fine. But Alright, uh, there we go. Mammoth Swine's down. Alright, two Pokemon down. This is still really, really scary, guys. I'm not really sure if we're going to be able to do this. Wall rain. Um, I'm going to have to go for a Volt Switch here. Uh, and then I'm going to have to go out into... Actually, this might do some decent damage, so we might be all right. Okay, that's, that's, that, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. So we got to go out to Felicia now. And Felicia's just going to have to kind of put the team on her back. And you know what? We're going to see how it goes. We're gonna see how it goes. I might see if I can... Probably just have to try and kill it here, so... If this doesn't kill, I'm gonna be sad. It didn't kill. Are we gonna die here? We didn't die, so we have to use this turn to heal. <sighs> this is really bad. It looks like he has a different moveset this time, so... Thankfully, uh, we won't have to deal with, you know, substitute, protect, and all that stuff. Uh, thankfully, it looks like he just has maybe all attacking moves this time. Maybe he has hail or something, but he's just not using it because obviously, you know, the hail's already up. Uh, but maybe this will kill. Didn't kill, but we did get the defense drop. So if we can live that, which we did, we can heal up to full. Uh, we're gonna have to eat a surf, which is fine because we're going to be able to heal, which is great. Actually, what I might do, I don't know if I can risk that though. Because, yeah, we're, we're going to have to go right. We're going to have to go for a crunch right here. Otherwise, we're probably just going to... Because I, I was saying, we could heal up our um, Jolteon here, right? And then... Uh, oh, shit. I totally forgot about this thing. Well, what is it going to have to hit me with? I know the second I ask that question, I'm going to get, like, low kick to the face. If I get low kicked, I'm going to fake out. Perfect. Okay, so now I need to... Why did that do so much damage? Holy crap. Hold on. I can't lose Felicia. I, I got to keep that in mind. Felicia's going to... 
Night Slash, how much is that gonna do? It, okay, it didn't do a lot, but also it does have a high chance to crit. I do need to heal, I'm not white here, and I'm gonna try and heal Marowak. I don't know if that, if I'll be able to do that. Honestly, I'm just making him kill himself. I, I'm not gonna try and do that intentionally, but it just seems like that's what's happening. He's really just, yeah, he's just going for damn, yeah, I don't know. Okay, uh, I'm gonna heal Wang just as much as I can, just in case we do need to at least swap out or something like. I was waiting for it, okay. Um, definitely don't think we're gonna live a move there. So I'm gonna go straight out into I'm not white here. So this is what I need to do. I need to go for Volt Switch here, and then I need to switch out into I'm not white. Actually, no, that was probably the bad move. Please kill, if this doesn't kill, I lost. Okay, we got the kill. We scooped up the kill there. Just gonna go out to Wang. Um, this is actually not that bad. We're gonna have to sack Wang, unfortunately. We are going to have to sack Wang. Um, I'm not sure if this is possible, guys. Maybe we don't. Yeah, never mind. I can't believe it. I seriously can't believe it. Wow, that's insult to injury. That's what that's called. That's what that's really called right there. Ah, oh, man. This really sucks. This really does suck. I'm gonna see if I can stall him out of blizzards. Never mind, okay. Uh, that's not gonna happen, and unfortunately, we just lost Blaze Black 2. Wow. Definitely didn't think we were gonna lose this one. I definitely didn't. Um, we weren't under leveled. I mean, give or take. Uh, let's see what level we were. We were, highest was 63 and they were 64, normally we, when we went to gym battles, we were like, you know, two, we were two under, normally. So, you know what, it's, you know, you know, you really weren't under leveled in any way, shape, or form. Obviously, we weren't up to par, because, I don't know, but it also wasn't, I don't need to be up to par. I don't know if you, I feel like you have to be up to par all the time, I feel like that's kind of scummy. I don't know, but, um, this is just a really hard game, you guys gotta understand that, um, it really uh, is just a very tough game. Um, so unfortunately, we weren't able to come out with a W. That would have been absolutely amazing if we would be able to. Um, but Zinzolin was crazy, man. Zinzolin really was. I'm not sure if the right move was to um, afterwards go back, um, get out of there, and then you know fill up the party and then come back. Uh, maybe it was the right move. It, it, I definitely could have seen it. We definitely could have picked up Boxy, or we could have uh, got, got Azriel or something like that. Um, but if you guys know how I play Nuzlocks, I if I lose, I definitely I just throw in the towel. That's it. If you white out, basically, and um, unfortunately, that is the that's the series right there. So, um, man, I really don't really don't know what to say, especially after you lose a Nuzlocke. Like we lost Liquid Crystal at the champion, we lost Home White at the champion, and. We came really close. We got all our gym badges with this one, and um, I don't know. We just weren't able to come on top. Zinzolin having him fight uh, three times is really crazy. Considering he has that Weavile, that's just just decimates us. I think it killed a couple of our Pokemon. It definitely killed more than just killed Pokemon in other battles that we had with Zinzolin. And Zinzolin's wild, man. He's just just trying to take us to, to Pound Town. So um, yeah, I mean, definitely next LP is coming very soon. It's literally five days away, Pokemon Sun and Moon. So I'll have some filler content up this week. Hopefully I'll have something for you guys that'll uh, please you until Sun and Moon. Or maybe I'll just take the week off or something like that. Probably not. I'll probably give you guys at least a video or two. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have the hatching eggs video. Um, I was about to talk about that. So obviously we have a bunch of eggs that need to be hatched, a bunch of eggs that were not able to be used. And I feel like that's kind of disrespectful if you guys send in eggs and then I just, don't do anything with them. I feel like that's disrespectful. So what I'm gonna do is uh, probably on, 
probably on either Tuesday or, you know, it might be Tuesday because, you know, um, actually Wednesday, probably Wednesday, Wednesday or Tuesday. I don't know. Expect it whenever. Basically, um, I will have a hatching eggs video. Um, so I'll be, I'll, I'll you know, I'll, it's pre-recorded footage of me hatching all the eggs and then I'll be, um, commentating over it and I will be, um, I'll probably be doing an update video of what's to come, you know, obviously, uh, sun and moon's coming, so there's gonna be crazy content on the channel. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. You guys are gonna be sick of me by the time sun and moon's over, I swear. You guys are gonna be sick of me, that's how much content is coming out. And I'm so excited to just make videos for you guys pretty much all day the next weekend. It's gonna be awesome. So, I don't really know. That's There'll be so much more information in that update video, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. If you wanna see your egg get hatched, make sure you go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, there's not really much to say, but thank you guys so much for all the support you showed on this series. It's honestly, it's freaking unreal how much you guys loved this series, and I, I'm so thankful for it. Um, it's amazing. Every single episode um, has like, like almost 5,000 views, maybe. I, obviously, there's some that have one has like 20,000. That's just in the middle of the LP or something, which is fucking unreal. Um, you guys showed what so much support. Every single like was hit. Every single like was demolished. You guys are honestly the best. I love I love you guys. It might seem ch cheesy as shit, and I'm just spilling words out, but I actually do appreciate you guys so much for every video we come out to, for every comment you leave, for every like you leave. It really does mean a lot. Uh, but I'll save all that lovey-dovey stuff for the update video, and um, I think I'm just gonna get out of here. So I'm sorry we weren't able to come out with the W on this Nuzlocke. I did try my best on every way, shape, or form. And you know, there were mistakes made on the way, there were misconceptions that I had that you guys corrected me on kindly, and I appreciate it for that, so I hopefully we uh, hopefully we all came out with a little bit of knowledge or a little bit of something from this LP. Uh, but like I said, thanks, you just stay tuned for Sun and Moon, guys. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. But thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna stop rambling here on, and I will see you all in the first episode of our Pokemon at Moon Let's Play on Friday. There'll probably be two or three episodes, so stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. But with that being said, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.